Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Happy day. What's up? We're gonna be doing an unedited morning in my life. Um, I would say I just woke up. Oh my gosh, that hair though. But um, I have been in bed for quite a minute um, watching TikToks because that's what any girl does, right? Um, but yeah, we are gonna have a lovely morning together, unedited. So I literally just take these clips and put them together. And you guys really, really like these. Um, they're very raw. Uh, so yeah, my hatch alarm went off a while ago and I kept snoozing it. My bed is a mess and let me tell you one reason why. It's because Ryan slept over. And anytime Ryan sleeps over, my bed is crazy the next morning. Not for any reason other than like, I don't know. Like when I go to bed, I go to bed with like all the throw pillows right next to me and I wake up and they're all right there and it's so easy to make my bed. But sweet boy leaves and it's just like all my pillows are all over the floor, like whatever. But so yeah, he left really early this morning um, for work because it's a work day. And ooh, my stomach just crumbled, I'm hungry. I have a grocery delivery en route, which I'm really excited about. Wow, these are my first words. I, well, I said goodbye to Ryan this morning, but like, you know, like, uh, uh. so we're gonna make some coffee. Gonna work out, do some laundry maybe if I'm feeling it, but welcome to an unedited morning in my life. Like, I'm sorry, this is absolute craziness over here. Also, <laughs> his retainer. I gave him this little dish to put his retainer on, but I will be putting that away now. Gotta get the blinds open. Ooh, oh my God, these things hurt my hands so much. I can't even do this without putting you guys down. Like, this just, that can't happen. My hair looks so good. I'm kidding. Ooh. The sun in my apartment in the morning is so bright. I think I might have to just leave it like that for now. I was gonna sleep with the sock curls because I'm so obsessed, but like I do, Ryan says I look like an elephant, like the big ears. Um, he doesn't mind, but he, I just wasn't feeling it last night. And I think today I'm gonna do like an updo of sorts. You guys, you guys know the messy bun updo with the strands in the front. I'm kind of feeling that. I went to bed with self-tanner on my face. The only thing I can't get is like the neck. I never can get it perfect. That's okay, I feel like I need some, some lip balm. A little Sol de Janeiro. And I could wash my face, I could, but I might do that in a sec. I'm kind of feeling like an ice roll would really, would really do me in at this moment. Like, please look how bright it is in my apartment in the morning. Like, actually so bright, which is great. It's definitely great, but you know, it's bright. Welcome to my kitchen. Also, one thing about me, I am gonna buy a huge concert tee. Actually, Brooke got this for me at the Spring Carpenter concert. She was like, I'm gonna go get one. Do you want one? And I was like, I don't know if it was during, I don't think she was on. I think she was about to come on and I was nervous. I was gonna, I don't know. But I was like, if there is an extra one, like I would love you forever. And so there were like two double XLs left because then I can use it as a nightgown. Coffee. In the Ember mug, you guys know the drill. Um, I just got some eggnog in the mail from milk, like the almond milk. And, uh, I don't know how to feel. Like I don't, I don't drink holiday eggnog a lot. Like, do you just have it over, like, in a cup at night? Like, but it looks really good. Or I guess I could make it with coffee. But you guys know I'm not a super, a super sweets person for coffee. Oh, today's the worst day. Wait, yeah. Um, 
literally such a random, not an actual problem. I have to get a new bag of my coffee pods. I like store my extras over here and I don't know why it's like that lazy thing where it's like, ugh, today is that morning where I have to get it out of storage. It's not actually a problem. Okay, I just, you know. Wow, the, the cars are honking this morning. box left of my No Fun Joe decaf coffee. And the reason I get this specific brand, I feel like I have to remind people every now and then, is because the way the beans are decaffeinated is very important because sometimes it can be, they use chemicals to decaffeinate the coffee, whereas No Fun Joe and other brands too, use the Swiss, Swiss water method. So it, um, Basically they, it's like pressure washing the beans, I think. It's like they run water over the beans thousands and thousands of times to decaffeinate it rather than using chemicals because I drink decaf coffee pretty much every day. So if I can control the kind I'm drinking, I, I try to. Uh, oh, and it's an add water day. Curing girlies now. It's an add water day and I had to get a new box of pods. Which, again, not actually a problem, but it's just one of those days, you know? So I'm gonna get this going. I woke up in a good mood, though. And I feel like, not that I don't, I wake up, I mean, yeah, we all wake up in bad moods sometimes, but I woke up in just like a ready for the day kind of mood, which I think is always nice. Sorry, I'm just moving you guys around. I'm gonna get my ice roller here. Kinda gotta go like this a few times. Oh, that's cold. That feels good. Because as you guys know, I don't think I'm the girl to put my face in a bucket of ice. Like that's just ice water. That did not go well for me. I don't know why. It just kinda made me feel panicky and claustrophobic. Like obviously you have to hold your breath when you, I don't know, I just, that was not for me. I was afraid and that's, and that's okay. Wow, it smells so good. I'm gonna be so for real right now. I was just looking in the mirror and ice rolling and I saw that I had a few flakies in the scalp and you know what? It's dry scalp season, okay? The seasons are changing and I have dry scalp. So if you see any during the remainder of this video, please don't comment, I know, I know, okay? I get dry scalp sometimes and it's just that type of day. And I used to be really embarrassed about it and then I realize hot girls have dry scalp. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But also, like, literally every single one of my friends are like, yeah, same. Like, I just, that happened. So, okay, you know? Uh, so, I have this new joke. It's not really a joke, but, like, this new thing I do. It's honestly with myself. My friend Rachel, she's so funny on TikTok. Her name's Rachel Lovely on TikTok. And she will occasionally make TikToks about, like, bits that she has with herself, with her friends. Like, I love that because I'm the same way. I have these little things I do with myself and this is a bit I do with myself. So I feel like a lot of people have obviously seen the Eras tour on TikTok or maybe you went to the concert or maybe you saw it on Disney Plus, the movie. Um, and I've noticed every time when she says, welcome to the Eras tour, she goes, welcome to the Eras tour. Like it's always like a welcome to the Eras tour. And now it's literally a bit with myself whenever I make it to like a certain portion. Like, you know how like during the concert, she's like, we've made it to the first bridge of the night or whatever. Like I do that with myself. Like now we've made it to the portion where I pull out my doing well daily planner and I plan my day. Welcome to the era's tour. <laughs> Saying it out loud is so not funny, but like, it's not even funny. It's just like, it's a me thing. Or like, we've made it to the first bridge of the night. When Danielle pulls out her planner. <laughs> All right, guys, can you just giggle along with me? Like, I, I just like say it in my head when she does her hands and it makes me happy because I love her and it makes me happy, okay? So anyways, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have shared that. Maybe that was lame. <sighs> We're sitting at my big old table here and computer I keep nearby so I can cross-reference my calendar because I'm such a Google Calendar girly pop. 
but I do use a pen and paper. This is the planner that I designed with Doing Well Daily. This is the second one, the first one I did in college. And then this one's like my Doing Well Daily in the city vibe. Um, Sydney Weber is amazing. She's the founder and um, we had so much fun creating this. Um, so it's still for sale if you guys want, it's always available. Um, so on this page, it's like the inspirational side. You trace the quote, affirmations, write down what you're gonna do for wellness. Um, so I have health anxiety sometimes. So oftentimes one of my affirmations is I am healthy. So we're gonna do that. What else am I feeling today? I'm happy and I wanna like keep affirming that. I wanna just have a good day. Um, sometimes I only have two, okay? Like I don't want them to just be a silly little affirmations. Well, this cowlick is gonna be the end of me. And then goals for today. I wanna laugh today. I wanna laugh. And mind you, on the other side is like actual work goals and stuff to get done today. But goals on this side for me is like, what do I wanna get out of my day? I wanna have some connection with friends. I'm seeing Delaney later today. So that'll be nice. And I do want to feel, feel productive for the rest of the week. Like I wanna feel set up. Okay, and today's quote is, knowing what doesn't work is progress, which is so true. Wellness, I'm going to a bar burn class with my friend Cass. That rhymed. So for me, wellness is gonna look like going to that class. And then nourishment is also on here. So I'll write down my meals. Honestly, I don't. Ooh, a tomato cucumber salad. That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Um, and then I'm just gonna sit here and I cross reference because on the top here, I have like hourly and then on the bottom I have to-do list. And usually what I do is one side of the to-do list is work and then the other side of the to-do list is um, just stuff in my life that I have to get done. Like I have, I have to get my own health insurance, guys. I'm really sad about it because I've been under my dad's, which I'm very, very grateful for. Uh, but I've turned 26, so I have until the end of the year to get my own. So I have to do big girl things and like figure that out and I'm working on that. So like that would go in the other category, but I'm gonna sit here and do that and not bore you guys too much. <laughs> Grocery haul time. I can't tell you how happy and excited I am to see this good culture cottage cheese in my grocery bag because basically pretty much half the time I order these, they're out of stock at Whole Foods. Like everyone loves these. Um, and so I put them as don't substitute because I don't like any of the others. So sometimes I just don't get cottage cheese that week. And it's really, it's just, it's the little things, okay? Um, some chicken breast tenders for my tomato cucumber salad, which is right here. Oh no, I am dumb. I'm gonna have to go get more tomatoes. I thought I got more. Cause I usually do one cucumber and two tomatoes per salad and it's perfect. I get the English cucumbers. So good. Oh, and I forgot to get red onion. Okay, so I need mental note, red onion and tomato. Such a good snack. Dip them in hummus, eat them plain, whatever. Sugar snap peas, ah, uh, they are so good. That's for a uh, dish I'm making, the cheese, don't mind that. Irish butter, we love some salted butter. Um, Malden sea salt flakes and Sweet Lawrence cookies because nothing like some chocolate chip cookies, a little sea salt. Rosemary, I needed to add this to my repertoire of like seasonings. Um, some tomato sauce, more half and half, sleepy time. <laughs> Sleepy time tea, I love this stuff so much. I drink it before bed, not every night, but like on nights that I need to particularly wind down. Green beans, always have these on deck. A kombucha, some more olive oil. Bread, I'm gonna have a piece right now before my workout, and some eggs. So that is the little grocery haul for you guys. Here's the setup. Oh my gosh, I haven't had good culture cottage cheese in probably two or three weeks because Whole Foods hasn't had it. <laughs> How happy. And I'm watching TikTok and I have my phone wrapped up. I like go through faces with TikTok and right now I'm like in it. I am in one. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling and eat this cottage cheese. So and then we're gonna get ready to work out. Yesterday. 
This has been my favorite set to wear to the gym recently. Like, you know those days where you just wanna have a good workout, you wanna feel good in the mirror? Like that's when I pull out this set. It's from Beyond Yoga. I got my colors done and they told me that I should wear brown rather than black. And I definitely agree. I think it really highlights my features. So I've been trying to lean into that more. It's not super cold today, but um, I mean, I definitely wore it's like a little jacket. So I thought this brown leather jacket with the brown would be cute. Headband, I get questions all the time. It's from 437. And someone told me I need to decide where my headband goes. Oh, let me just rip out my earrings and do that. Make squatting. No, I can just lift this like this. Um, I don't know. I also bring like a hair tie too, but I'm going to Equinox Bar Burn with my friend Cass. And... Um, I love this class so much and I don't sweat too much. So usually this is doable, but sometimes I bring a hair tie if we're doing planks or something and my hair gets in my way. So I will bring a brown scrunchie, little earrings, gonna add some sneakers. And then these sunglasses are from Key. And when I got them, they were buy one, get one free. So I got another color too. I haven't really worn them much. I've only worn them once, but they're, they're big and I love that. <laughs> okay, headed to the gym. Here is the final look. I don't know if my socks are kind of random with this, but let's go. I'm excited to see Cass and I'm like kind of excited to work out, honestly, not really, but I know I'll be happy after. So, you know, it, winter arc, winter arc. Guys, it's the most beautiful day outside. It feels like true fall right now. I'm here with my buddy. I'm so happy. Workout is done. It's a beautiful sunny day. My legs are definitely shaking, like that was a really hard workout, but I'm gonna reward myself with a protein smoothie at none other than Juice Generation. Literally my favorite place in the earth, Juice Generation. I'm thinking to get a ginger shot as well. Vital shots are my favorite. I seriously love my new neighborhood so much. Like, I've always dreamed of living over here in meatpacking. And I just like can't believe this is my reality. It's just, I don't know why I've always loved it over here. I wanted to move here when I first was moving to New York. And I remember telling people like, I wanna move to Chelsea meatpacking. And people were like, everyone, when they first moved to New York, moves to the east side. And I am definitely glad I did that truly because like all my friends were living over there and it was a really fun time for my freshman year of uh, New York. But for my senior year of New York, I'm loving, I'm loving the West Side over here. Um, I feel like I go to a lot of the restaurants over here. Mm. Also, it's so funny with daylight savings. It's still so early and the sun feels like it's about to set because it is going to set in a few hours. <laughs> but it's okay. That's why we have therapy and friends and try to get in the sunlight when we can. <laughs> my gosh. We're gonna pop into Chelsea Market because I wanna make sure to get those extra tomatoes I need and red onion and any other produce that I might have forgotten. There's like one little grocery store in there, which I recently discovered with my aunt. So it's perfect for these like last minute things I need. So we're going to Chelsea Local. Gonna pop into Manhattan Fruit Market. Gonna get some more tomatoes here. I'm sadly not seeing any red onion. Ooh, I almost just tripped. They have these red pearled onions, but I don't know, is that different? Just on the other side with the red onions. <laughs> there we go. Stopping by a local market to just grab some produce feels so wholesome and you can't argue otherwise, okay? We are back now and I'm about to shower and get ready for the day, but we have to talk about therapy. I love therapy so much. I literally want everyone in my life to go to therapy if they so choose. I love BetterHelp and thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video because I can do therapy right from my computer. It is 
absolutely incredible. You get matched with a licensed therapist so easily. You just fill out a questionnaire and they pair you with someone. And also, if you don't like your therapist, you literally can change your mind. It's that amazing. Um, but I think what initially got me into therapy, I was in high school and I was trying to make some big life decisions. And I just kind of wanted to talk to someone that wasn't involved in my life at all because I didn't want to offend anyone. And that's still something I'm working through. I think like the biggest thing I'm working through in therapy at this moment in time is people pleasing and just not having guilt when I have to say no to something or if I'm if I'm just overwhelmed I, I tend to overthink about everything and like everyone in a certain situation and making sure everyone's happy and while I love that I that about myself sometimes it really bites me in the butt so that is kind of something that I'm working through in therapy right now but it goes in phases like maybe there's something in a friendship that's going on or relationship stuff like it could literally be anything and I feel so grateful to therapy for that. Like you don't necessarily have to be going through this huge life change to go to therapy and I think that's what some people don't realize and then they decide to go to therapy and they're like, oh my gosh, like I'm so glad I was able to rant to my therapist about whatever it may be. So if you guys want to give therapy a try, I highly suggest using BetterHelp. It's just such an easy way to dive into it because sometimes it could be super overwhelming. So if you go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn, you can get a discount on your first month of BetterHelp. Um, I always just like to remind you guys that and I'm very grateful to work with BetterHelp because I think it's such an amazing cause and message to get across to you guys that it's okay to go to therapy and it's very normal and i feel like the more and more people i talk to i'm like wow you're in therapy you're we're all in therapy this is amazing so yes i'm gonna hop on and then i'm gonna get some work done some quick things and then um brooke and i are recording the podcast and stuff so we're gonna shower get ready and get ready together it'll be so fun <laughs> it's shower time we are not gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna attempt to do like a messy updo situation. So, be back in a second. So, we are in the bathroom now and we are getting ready for the night of night. No, I'm kidding. Literally, for the day of days. Just did some skin prep. I feel like so many of my vlog clips are me in this towel wrap with this headband. Like it's just, it's comfort at this point. Trying to find the best angle. Let's see, we can't edit this out. Huh. Um, but yeah, I'm posting this vlog like pretty soon after filming it, literally two days. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me see. By the way, I am so sorry. Like, I'm trying not to make this feel outdated, but this vlog is going up, and then my UGA vlog is going up after that and for that I am so sorry. Like I hate doing things out of order, but I'd rather post things out of order than you guys not have a video. Like I'm just, I hate when I like can't get a video up on the day that I wanted to. So I wanted to make sure that I got a video up for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to go home next week to Florida. Um, I, had an unexpected trip where I went there in October after Hurricane Helene. And then while I was there, as you guys know, if you watch the vlog, while I was there, we found out about Hurricane Milton and it was a very scary thing. Um, thankfully, we didn't receive much damage from Milton. It was from Helene. So um, a lot of the damage had already been done. But in general, the trip that I took was a very sad one. So I am really, really, really looking forward to going back for Thanksgiving for the holidays. I love being home for the holidays. I just, I, I would say I'm pretty close with my family and obviously Finley is a huge factor. Um, and I get a lot of questions too about like, not even really online, more so from people in real life. Like, oh, like where are you and Ryan doing Thanksgiving this year? Where are you and Ryan doing Christmas this year? Um, I have some friends who definitely do holidays with their significant other, but a lot of those friends are like engaged or married or they live in the same town as their significant other. Ryan and I do not, and we both want to go home for the holidays. Uh, we did, two years ago, I went to Maine for Thanksgiving with his family, which was really special. His grandma had just moved there and um, it was a, it was special Thanksgiving and so they invited me and I was like, of course I would be there and I am so glad I was there. But like I'd be lying if I didn't say 
where is my concealer brush? If it was, if I wasn't saying that it was hard for me to be away from my family. Um, Cause you guys know I'm such a nostalgia person and I'm very close to my family and I love going home, everything I just said. So that definitely was hard. Um, but I still had gone home earlier that week, which was really nice. So I got to still be with my family and I feel really lucky and privileged that I was able to do that. Um, and then last year, um, Ryan came to Thanksgiving at my house, which obviously was so fun and I wish he could come all the time, but, um, we kind of decided like, okay, let's not have this to start be a thing just yet because, we have the rest of our lives to do all these holidays together. And I honestly, I'm just not ready to let go of not seeing my family. And um, my family was like, obviously do whatever you want, but we would just love if you were with us for the holidays. And I was like, no, I don't disagree. I, and especially because I have a smaller family. Um, I don't know if any of you guys relate to this. Like it's literally me, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and then my mom's boyfriend and my grandpa lives nearby. The rest of my family, like, people that we would spend holidays with, like really big holidays would be my family that lives in Illinois. So um, it's really a small Thanksgiving as it is. So I think two years ago when I wasn't there, it was kind of, they were sad, they were sad. And I was sad too, but I was also like enjoying my, you know, you do what you have to do, but kind of just made this decision that um, until further notice, we'll be doing holidays with our respective families just because Brian also it's just him his mom his dad and his sister so it just makes it really sad when <laughs> one's missing um but yeah that's kind of that just um but perhaps after Christmas maybe Ryan will fly down I don't know what we're doing for New Year's yet I can't believe that's all like coming up so 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 fast so we'll get a feel. Also, my camera might die. So I'm just letting you guys know. I will change the battery, but if that gets cut off, it's not because I edited it. It's because my camera died. Um, but yeah, excited for the holidays, excited for Thanksgiving Eve. Like I am a bitch that thrives. Okay, just switched the battery out. I was in the middle of my excitement about Thanksgiving Eve. Um, this year, a lot of my girlfriends aren't going home for Thanksgiving. Um, a lot of my friends, they have like rotating Thanksgivings where like they'll go to someone else's big family like like they have big family so they'll go to like someone else's house for thanksgiving they all kind of travel so it's like every few years i get to see my girlfriend for thanksgiving um so it's usually danny and the boys <laughs> um like a ton of my guy friends from high school will all go out um but my friend sophia is gonna be in town this year so i'm really happy about that she's usually like never in town for thanksgiving anyways i don't know why i'm telling you guys all this but i'm excited so i will be out on the town in tampa I wonder if I can convince my friends to go out in St. Pete instead. It's kind of like so fun. That's where my brother lives and is obsessed with it. And when I went out in St. Pete, I was like, wait, this is so fun. And it was just new for me. So I don't know. Comment down below where I should go out in Tampa and convince my friends to go to. But um, yeah, I'm also going to visit my high school um, because I can. And I'm that bitch that's swinging her keys around. No, I'm kidding. I don't actually do that. I went recently actually for a funeral, um, which was really sad, but it was also really special to see a lot of people I hadn't seen in so long, but it made me want to go back and like see the new things that have been added to campus and visit my theater teacher. And I apparently our theater is like so cool now at our school because I was in theater in high school. Um, so I think I'm going to go do that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna vlog next week because sometimes I feel like you guys don't like the at-home vlogs But then you watch them and you do like them. I think because a lot of you started watching me before I even went to UGA, which is so nuts and thanks for hanging out uh, But yeah, had so much fun in Georgia. I can't wait for you guys to see the vlog um, I just love going back and I feel so grateful because Georgia is definitely a school that is very alumni friendly. I feel like a lot of alumni go back and I don't feel weird. I don't feel too old. I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, there are so many cute little girly pops around. But for the most part, I feel very welcome, which is nice. Anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys how I do my hair. Makeup is done and I added a little shimmer to my lids. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust in the color Space Cowboy. And I just thought I would tell you guys, like I think 
I have some events tonight and maybe at night I will add some more shimmer to the lids, but I'm, I'm impressed with it. Okay, hair time, let's do it. So I posted a TikTok recently and I feel like I've also probably shown on the podcast or on the podcast, on, on the vlog, how I do this like updo thing. But I'll like show a little bit of it, but since I can't edit it, I'm just gonna show you guys like high level and then I'll like check back in. But basically I'm just gonna separate the front pieces. Not too many though, because also my front pieces are getting kind of long, but I curl them so it's fine. Um, and then you just kind of gotta be messy with it, honestly. Let's see here. It's definitely hard with extensions because you don't want them to show and you don't want them to be pulled a certain way. Um, I definitely miss doing slick backs and when I got hair extensions, I knew. I knew. I was like, okay, here we go. No slick backs, but honestly, it's good because I love, I feel so feminine with my hair down. All that, honestly, the ponytail. This ponytail's kind of giving. I don't know, should I start with the ponytail and see how I like it? Like the ponytail, <laughs> like I'll curl the front pieces and I could always like change it into a bun later. But this would also look good on the podcast because a lot of times I'm like turned to the right looking at Brooke. Brooke's beautiful face. I feel like that's kind of a vibe. I need to learn and just get better at like covering up my hair tie with my own hair. But it's hard to do it on yourself, like where you take a piece and wrap it around. Wait, I feel like I should just do the ponytail and then curl these front pieces. I usually split it into two and just, I'm such a wand girl. I really want to learn how to curl with a clamp, but it's just so hard. I'm almost done with my smoothie, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Mm. That smoothie. Literally, it's like a chocolate milkshake, but it has protein in it. So it's great for after workouts or even days I don't work out. It's just a great source of protein. It's so good. I wish they had juice generation all around the country, but they don't. So it's a New York City treat, but I love seeing you guys. I get tagged in stories all the time of people coming to the city and ordering Juice Generation and getting an OPP. So thank you so much. It makes me so happy. I'm like, thank you. Like, I don't get a kickback or anything. It just, thank you for sharing it because it makes me feel validated that people watch my vlogs. In a world of short form content, I do still love me some YouTube and love that you guys still watch my YouTube videos. Um, okay, so I ended up vlogging this whole thing. I will run my fingers through the curls, but I kind of feel like I should keep it in a ponytail because it actually looks good. A lot of times the day I do this hair, it's like my hair's so messy and like isn't giving, so I just put it in the bun, but I kind of like it. Color Wow Texture Spray, I love this stuff. Yeah, just like texturize it out. I could also text draws the ponytail. All right, cool. And maybe I'll keep in these earrings, maybe I'll change it up. You can also like, oh, no, you cannot do that. That's weird. I don't know. We'll see when I put my outfit on if I need to throw it up in a bun, but I think I'm gonna go ponytail for now. Right? I think so. I'm like, please. Wait guys, but also, the bun would be extremely cute. Like, let me get dressed and then we'll go from there. I decided I'm gonna keep the hair because I think it looks good with my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from my edit with Astro the Label. It fits like a glove and it's very snatchy. Sometimes sweater dresses are a little iffy, but I think this one's good and I just brought it in. I mean, I didn't even need to cinch it with the belt, but I just thought it had a spot for a belt, so I'm adding it. Wearing the same earrings from Ring Concierge. And then these earrings, you guys, if you have a second or third piercing, whatever, so cute. They're from Electric Picks. And I just think they are meant for your second piercing. Um, and then we're gonna add some rings because I've been loving to wear rings. I'm gonna add 
this bracelet as well. It's kind of like my everyday stitch. Oh, I also have these, but will that be too much now there? I don't know. Got this ring on Nantucket. Oh, sounds of the city, am I right? Hotel, so do this ring. I'm trying to like wear my rings more. I wish I could like sleep in my rings, but it bothers me too, too much. Do this guy here. We're just ringing it up. And oh no, am I missing one? Erner. There's a second matching ring to this. I really hope I didn't lose it. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't. It's hiding. Oh, I need to put a lip on. But yeah, this is the look. I'm gonna add some brown boots. Let's find the brown boots. Because honestly, when we film, you kind of see everything. You see our feet, you see our shins. So sometimes we'll both wear like jeans and sneakers and then you just like see our socks and it's really vulnerable. This matches almost perfectly. Outfit sandwich strikes again. So we're gonna do this. I'm like kind of ready early, which is so exciting. Um, I'll get a little work done before I leave. That's always a win. Put some socks on. And yeah, typical morning sitch. I didn't get laundry done, which I wanted to do. I've been doing laundry in the morning instead, which is kind of wild, but it's kind of a nice mindless thing to do in the morning when I'm like sipping my coffee. I don't know, but ooh. I haven't put these on in a while. My feet like grew, I guess. Like you guys, a lot of you guys know the lore already, but I thought I was a size seven and a half and I was told I'm an eight and a half. Like, I don't know. Basically seven and a half fit, but where my toes are supposed to be, they, I should be wearing an eight and a half. And I have an arches problem, so wearing the larger shoe and then getting the foot inserts. It's just a whole thing. So I don't know why I'm deciding to tell you guys all this right now. This is what happens with these unedited vlogs as I ramble. Oh, I think, I think this is cute. It's giving Thanksgiving. It's giving thanks, haha. <laughs> Today we're filming our little Thanksgiving episode to kind of get excited for Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, I think this is perfect for the occasion. I might add a little lotion or something to my decollete. I think that always looks really nice, but yeah, that's the fit. I'm all ready and headed out. Um, actually, well, I'm gonna put on lipstick, but I'm gonna have a little snack. I lied, I'm gonna have a little snack and then I'm gonna head out. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this unedited morning in my life. I hope you enjoyed and there will be another vlog this weekend. So get excited and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.